Ayla Matthews and her friend were shot right here just a few days ago. Her friend is out of the hospital, but Ayla's had to undergo two surgeries. Her husband says she's expected to be okay. She's really tough. Jeremiah Olson's wife, Ayla Matthews, recovering in the hospital after being shot multiple times in a drive by shooting on Alki Avenue Halloween night. She asked the nurse why they have to shoot me so many times. Olson says his wife and her friend dressed up and were out walking their dog and playing Pokemon Go. This photo taken moments before the shooting. Olson heard the gunshots from their home not far away. You know, of course, you don't want to think the worst, but. I was freaking out because you know I know she's out there somewhere. A friend then called Olson, told him where the shooting was and that Ayla and her friend were the victims. I sprinted down there as fast as I could and found her laying on the ground. In the moment, I just tried to be calm and just let her not see that I was freaked out. More than two dozen shell casings were collected at the scene. Olson says there was another group of people walking near his wife at the time of the shooting who may have seen who's responsible. Those people were the best witnesses, and so I'm really hoping that they come forward. And three days later, a man who neighbors say was staying at an Airbnb near Southwest Dawson and 17th Avenue found shot and killed inside early Thursday morning. Neighbors heard the gunshots and surveillance video captured the sound. <laughs> Seattle Police crime data shows an increase in gun violence in its southwest precinct, which covers West Seattle. As of the end of September, there have been 30% more reports of gunfire than the year before, with a dozen injured and one killed. As for Alki, it's seeing an increase too, with the reports of shots fired up from 2021. And that's the community we, we know we live in, you know, so it's really hard when something like this happens. Olson says there needs to be more police presence here along Alki Avenue. SPD says there are emphasis patrols out during those busy summer months, but right now there are no plans to add more to the area. As for the investigations into this morning's homicide and the drive by shooting, no arrests have been made and police are asking anyone with information to come forward. In West Seattle, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.